In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, one American magician captured the imagination of audiences across the country with his spectacular stage shows. Harry Keller, known as the Dean of American Magicians, rose to fame for his incredible tricks, particularly his levitation act featuring Princess Karnak. Born Heinrich Keller in 1849 in Pennsylvania, Keller's early life took a turn when he ran away from his hometown of Erie after causing a mishap at a pharmacy where he worked. After a brief stint living with a minister, Keller discovered his passion for magic when he attended a show by the Fakir of Ava. He became the Fakir's pupil, learning the art of magic and illusion. Keller's career faced many challenges, including a series of disastrous shows and a shipwreck that destroyed all of his magical equipment. However, he persevered and eventually found success, touring around the world and forming his own theater, the Egyptian Hall. In 1882, Keller's life took a magical turn when he met Eva Medley in Melbourne, Australia. They married and worked together on the famous levitation of Princess Karnak Act. Keller's shows were known for their mysterious and captivating posters, which often featured impish creatures and devils, adding to the allure of his performances. Toward the end of his career, Keller befriended another famous magician, Harry Houdini, who greatly admired him. After retiring, Keller chose Howard Thurston as his successor, and he and Eva moved to Los Angeles. Sadly, Eva passed away in 1910, and Keller lived on until 1922. Harry Keller's legacy as a pioneering American magician lives on through his incredible performances and the impact he had on the world of magic. His influence continues to be felt by magicians and audiences alike, as his posters and photographs serve as a window into a bygone era of wonder and enchantment.